When we meditate, we're developing our inner resources. We have our inner strengths, we have our inner abilities. But a lot of cases, they're just in a potential form. We have to actualize them, we have to bring them out and develop them. That's what the word, word bhavana means. That's the Pali word for meditation. In other words, you're developing good qualities of the mind. You take what good qualities you have and you allow them to grow. We talked last night about people being dependent on things outside being a certain way. That's looking for your strength outside. For the meditation, we're looking for strength inside. So that whatever the weaknesses of the body, whatever the weaknesses of our position in the world, we have strength inside that can compensate, more than compensate, so that we can live in the world even with a body that can grow old and can get sick and can eventually die. But our happiness doesn't have to be destroyed by that, because we've got a strength inside that doesn't get affected by those things, if it's developed. That's why we have to work so much at developing these qualities in the mind. If it's not developed, it just stays there as a potential, and we continue to suffer. It's like having gold under your house. Someone comes and tell you, tells you they found a vein of gold under your house. It sounds good. It's reassuring. But you're not going to get any use out of the gold until you actually dig down and find it. And the same here. You've got to look for those qualities inside, because sometimes you look around and you don't see them at all. They're there, but you've got to dig down a little bit. You have the strength to deal with the world. You have the strength to deal with the people around you. You have the strength to deal with your own defilements. It's there. It's simply a matter of bringing it out and developing it. So each time you focus on the breath, each time you find yourself slipping away from the breath and bring yourself right back, that's strengthening the quality of alertness, that's strengthening the quality of mindfulness. And you're developing your ardency. These are the three qualities you need to work on the mind, to develop the mind particularly that quality of ardency. You can keep things in mind, you can be alert to them, but if you don't do anything about them, nothing really develops much. You see there's a potential for something unskillful in the mind, you have to work to learn how to let it go. If there's a potential for something skillful, you want to bring it out and develop it. That's what the ardency does, because it realizes that if you don't do this, there's going to be a lot of suffering down the line. That even though you have the gold under the house, you can't pay your bills, because you haven't dug down to take the gold and make it your own. 